Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shawcraft One and my old barn door and barn door treasures on eBay. And I just wanted to take a minute to, um, this is in the Ideals magazines that um, I've kind of shared with y'all. Um, and I know, you know, y'all are familiar with them. We all love them. They, they're great. And I love this Norman Rockwell um, picture of this little boy finding this little Santa Claus outfit. Um, <laughs> um, but this caught my eye, and it's, is there a Santa Claus? And, you know, I've heard all through the years um, the adage, yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. But I never really knew exactly what that was. I knew it was something very old. Well, this tells the, a little bit of the story of that. So I just thought I would read it to y'all for any of you who were not familiar with it or who had never read it like me. So it says, This famous editorial by Francis P. Church first appeared in the New York Sun, September 21st, 1897. We take pleasure in answering at once and thus prominently the communication below expressing at the same time our great gratification that its faithful author is numbered among the friends of the sun. So this little girl, Virginia, wrote this into the Sun newspaper. It says, Dear Editor, I am eight years old. Some of my little friends say there is no Santa Claus. Papa says, If you see it in the sun, it's so. Please tell me the truth. Is there a Santa Claus? Signed, Virginia O'Hanlon, and she gives her little address. Um, and so here's the, the response from the son to Virginia. Virginia, your little friends are wrong. They have been affected by the skepticism of a skeptical age. They do not believe except what they see. They think that nothing can be which is not comprehensible by their little minds. All minds, Virginia, whether they be men's or children's, are little. In this great universe of ours, man is a mere insect, an ant. In his intellect, as compared with the boundless world about him, as measured by the intelligence capable of grasping the whole of truth and knowledge. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. He exists as certainly as love and generosity and devotion exist. And you know that they abound and give to your life its highest beauty and joy. Alas, how dreary would be the world if there were no Santa Claus. It would be as dreary as if there were no Virginias. There would be no childlike faith then, no poetry, no romance to make tolerable this existence. We should have no enjoyment except in sense and sight. The eternal light with which childhood fills the world would be extinguished. Not believe in Santa Claus. You might as well not believe in fairies. You might get your papa to hire men to watch in all the chimneys on Christmas Eve to catch Santa Claus. But even if they did not see Santa Claus coming down, what would that prove? Nobody sees Santa Claus, but that is no sign that there is there is no Santa Claus. The most real things in the world are those that neither children nor men can see. Did you ever see fairies dancing on the lawn? Of course not, but that's no proof that they are not there. Nobody can conceive or imagine all the wonders there are unseen and unseeable in the world. You tear apart the baby's rattle and see what makes the noise inside, but there is a veil covering the unseen world which not the strongest man, nor even the united strength of all the strongest men that ever lived could tear apart. Only faith, fancy, poetry, love, romance can push aside that curtain and view and picture the supernatural beauty and glory beyond. Is it all real? Ah, Virginia, in all this world, there is nothing else real and abiding. No Santa Claus. Thank God he lives, and he lives forever. A thousand years from now, Virginia, nay, ten times ten thousand years from now, he will continue to make glad the heart of childhood. I love that. So, I just thought it was super cool and like I say, I've always heard the little um, saying, um, yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. Um, 
but I never read the story or knew what it was about. So, that's for me, and it might be for me only. I'm sure all of you know about it, and if you didn't, um, well, now you do. So, just wanted to give you a little Christmas gift this Christmas season. Um, wishing you all the best and hoping that God will overwhelm you with his abundant blessings this Christmas season. Big hugs!